If you're like us, you unabashedly watch videos of puppies snuggling, you follow all the puppies of Instagram accounts, and you're the token individual at parties that's more likely to go play with the dog than play the next game of Flip Cup. In our experiences, all these symptoms have led us to adding a pup to our families. But that didn't come without a lot of planning and preparation to make sure the dog and our bank accounts are happy and healthy. Welcome to this episode of Millennials to Millionaires, a show designed to give you up-to-date tips on managing your money. My name is Emily, this is Shawan, and that's Mallory. And today we're going to give you the 411 must-knows before adding a furry friend to your family. Number one, are you ready? First and foremost, you need to ask yourself, can you afford a pet? The ASPCA states that the annual cost of care averages around $400 for a small dog, $600 for a medium dog, and $750 for a large dog. We're not looking for a yes or no right now, but sit down and look at your expenses. Can you actually come up with this money? And just like you should do for yourself, make sure you have an emergency fund set up. Emergency visits to the vet can cost a pretty penny and you need to be prepared for the possibility. Lastly, you need to commit to this change in lifestyle. And are you prepared for a huge adjustment period? Having a pet is one of life's pleasures, but you need to make sure that you can commit to this change in lifestyle for not only your own well-being, but also for the dogs. If you're ready to find your new family member, check out PetFinder.com. Number two, choose the breed and age. First, start thinking about what breeds you're interested in and start assessing what breeds fit within your current lifestyle. Although you may have your heart set on a specific type of dog, please review what the breed is like and what it requires on a daily basis at akc.org. For instance, let's think about a Border Collie or Weimaraner. They require a ton of exercise. Now most millennials out there don't have the luxury of not working, so are you willing to get up early, potentially come home for lunch, and a few times in the evening to let your dog out? If not, reconsider. We want you and your pup to be in a happy and healthy relationship. Second, start thinking about ages. We all love puppies, but an older dog may fit better with your schedule. Tip time, here's a quick tip. The Pet Poison Control Hotline and your contacts. They're available 24 hours a day in case of an emergency, and will guide you through the necessary steps to keep your pet safe. They can be reached at 888-426-4435. Number three, purchase puppy supplies. Before you bring home your new pup, make sure you have dog food, treats, bowls, toys, puppy pads, bedding, puppy bags, collars, leashes, and a crate for training. In terms of identification, in many states, it's required that you report your dog and pay for their license. Be careful to avoid this step because the moment you bring your puppy to the vet, their information will get shared with the state. And if they're not accounted for in the system, the state will contact you to get your ducks in a row and to dish them out some money. Additionally, it is encouraged that you outfit your new buddy with a microchip and a name tag that lists their name, your name, and your phone number if lost. Number four, take your pet to the vet. Next, you'll need to schedule an appointment with your vet to take a look at your new pet and make sure they have all of the necessary vaccinations. For puppies, ask your vet about the following shots. Rabies, distemper, parvovirus, and adenovirus. It's also highly suggested that you give your dog preventative medications that cover for fleas, ticks, and heartworm. If you have any questions regarding your pup's health and routine, your veterinarian is the perfect person to ask. Here's a tip. Check out your local Humane Society. They tend to have better rates for vaccinations, spays, and neuters. This can save you serious cash. Number five, think about pet insurance. You may or may not be familiar with getting insurance for your pet, but it is highly encouraged. All three of us have policies for our dogs and this saved us hundreds of dollars. You'll essentially have a monthly premium that you pay and it will cover a whole host of scenarios. For example, I got a plan with 24 hour pet watch and they cover a certain amount for spaying and neutering. After we got our dog fixed, we only had to pay $8. Everything else was covered by our insurance. You'll be surprised by how much money you can rack up at the vet and your pet insurance coverage will be a saving grace. Planning and making arrangements for the arrival of a furry munchkin can seem like a lot of work, or perhaps even work that isn't necessary. But we promise from our own experiences, these tips and suggestions will truly make your experience an enjoyable one. Has this been helpful for any of you current or future pet mommies and daddies? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear about your experiences. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Juan, and that's Mallory. And today we're going to give you the 411 must knows before adding a furry friend to your family. <laughs> Fun. Millennials to Millionaires is brought to you by our sponsors, Life's Best Insurances. Big life events like adding another member to your family are perfect times to check out life insurance policies or get a life insurance checkup on your current policies. 
not only can we protect you and your human family members, we can protect your furry friends too. Get a quote in a matter of seconds at lifesbestinsurances.com and secure your future.